Today's video is all about what starts the downswing. It's a question we get all the time. We're gonna see if we can't answer it for you today. Here with my good friend, Sean Webb, a Micronauta with Athletic Motion Golf. And before we get started in the video, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. We're giving away free swag every week to the best comment. You know, don't, don't be too rated R, good comments, <laughs> but you gotta be a subscriber to win. So make sure you click the subscribe button. Sean, we're talking about what starts the downswing. I think first, before we get into the details of it, I think there's a really core concept that we see golfers all the time kind of miss as far as backswing and downswing. Yeah, yeah, I think what, what that is and what Mike's talking about is that they think of the backswing and downswing as two separate events. Right, there's a, there's a backswing, it ends, and then there's a downswing. And it gets this look like everything comes to a stop, they're parked out on their right leg, everything starts moving together. Yeah. And we know just from studying high level players and just playing sports, it doesn't right. really work like that. So. How do you like? How would you like him to think about it if it's not two separate events? Yeah, and, and that's something that we actually can measure, right? With the mm -hmm. force plates and the 3D, we can see everything going back, and then everything starting down. If you just think back to when you were a little kid playing, maybe playing t-ball or whatever, when you were going to throw the ball as hard as you could, right? Everybody likes to throw it hard when they're little. Get out in the outfield. You would not go everything back and then make everything. Forward no, at the same time. Some of the kids time. did, but they rode the pond. Right, exactly right. <laughs> if you were on the field, you were doing one of these. You were stepping towards the camera, or stepping towards where you're throwing it as this arm was still, still going, going back. back. And that's essentially what happens in the golf swing. You'll see great players, they'll take the club back, and then somewhere usually, we've seen it as early as before shaft parallel, and as late as kind of right up here, just past left arm parallel, where the backswing actually begins. And by that we mean, they're actually starting to shift. They're maxing out their pressure on the right foot, starting to shift back, recenter, and shift back towards the front foot. Yeah. It can happen as early as here or up here, but that's when they start to kind of recenter themselves and get the body way ahead of the club. The club still has a long ways to go, but the body's already positioning itself, much like that throw. Yeah, so I think essentially what Mike is saying is that for some of these players, the backswing is over here as far as the moving the pressure That's in the exactly weight, right. right? You might see the club still go back, but we have the ability to measure, we use the swing catalyst right. and the pressure plate. We see that it's not necessarily the club movement that's starting down, but the lower body and the shifting is happening a lot earlier than people realize. If the club starts down before all that shifting occurs, it's too late. You cannot get back in front of the club when it starts down. So you really wanna get out in front of that club. By that, we're, talk we're not talking, you know, taking off or sliding the mm -hmm. hips. We're talking about just this little subtle kind of recentering to back where you were basically at setup. Yeah, And then absolutely. it's a small bump from there in the impact. And we get a lot of golfers that come in who want to shorten their swing. Mm -hmm. And it always has to do with, again, running out of range of motion. Mm -hmm. They want to artificially kind of stop that. This is how you shorten your swing dynamically. You start shifting when the club's kind of right through this window here. There's not, unless you're super Gumby-like, there's not gonna be a really long runoff swing. Absolutely, so overarching theme of this video, I guess we could say, mm -hmm. stop thinking about the backswing and downswing as two separate motions, and start thinking about it as one kind of flowing motion where you're moving at one point in two directions at the same time. That's exactly right. Golf is uh, a lot of two different motions happening at the same time, and that downswing for many golfers is gonna start Again, we say start, not the club changing direction, but the ground right around in here through this area here. Now, let's let's give ourselves some room here. So we're gonna bring in one of our tour players here, uh, his gear is capture, and now we're gonna talk about the actual, so that's the first thing that changes direction is the ground. Yeah. Now we're gonna talk about the last thing, which is the club. We see a lot of golfers who will watch the head of the pro thinking that, you know, the head comes down. If you've seen certain announcers on TV, they really lament about the head moving too much, this and that. That's a very poor benchmark to look at on video. And you're gonna see here in our pro golfer why. So when the club changes direction, most golfers are actually lowering themselves on the backswing. So when the club's still moving back, they're lowering themselves. Now, as the club gets to the top, there's gonna to be even a slight bit more lowering. Not a lot, but a slight bit, but the head will still continue to drop much more than the body drops. 
The problem with that is that leads golfers to think that it's a lot of this bringing the club down. So if I get it to the top and bring the club down like this by squatting, that will drop the club. But that's not what the pros are doing. The head's coming down, the body actually drops just a little bit. And you can see here with our pro, it comes down about a quarter of an inch or so. And then the body, both the center mass of the pelvis and the torso starts to come up as the head's still going down. And that's kind of a thing where a lot of these misconceptions come from by watching the head only, not paying attention to the body. And not only that, you know, we put out a few videos with um, Justin Rose talking about the thoughts that he has on his downswing. We love hearing what great players have thought over the yes. years, uh, what makes their swing tick. And one of the things that he talked about was he has to feel like his arms work down in front of him here, mm -hmm. right? On the downswing, instead of just leaving the arms up and dropping the body down right. to get the club down, he has to actually feel like the left arm going down the chest some, which would get you that club movement working down in front. That's right. So shifting the pressure first, changes direction. There's some obviously some rotation of the body and pelvis and, and torso, but there's some arm motion as well that gets this club started on the downswing, gets some speed in the club early. Yes, that's exactly right. So you've got to be aware of the first point that we made is that the golf swing is not a backswing, downswing movement, right? There's a blend and there's a wide window where that blending takes place. And then it's what actually moves the club down. That last piece of the downswing is the arms lowering a little bit of the body. The head is still coming down for most golfers. And then the body is actually recentering and starting back up as the head's still coming down, as the club's still coming down. So it's a combination of all of those things that start the downswing. Depending on your swing, it's gonna really determine which of those you need to add or which of those you need to kind of minimize. And if you haven't already, we've got a, an Athletic Motion Golf website with mm -hmm. a lot of drills pertaining to this, the pressure right. and how to actually work on this in some drills and some more key concepts about pressure. So Right, that's exactly right. A lot of golfers need a lot of different subtleties with drills, so we like to do that more in the membership. Absolutely. But it's one of those things that once you understand the concept, you're probably 85 to 90% there, then it's just a matter of polishing that up to fit your own swing.